Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from OSCON 2015 in Portland, Oregon. I'm here with Sanjay Patil. Sanjay, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. So you're with SAP. Indeed. And a lot of people don't know SAP as an open source company. You know, it doesn't immediately come to mind, yet you were one of the first with ABAP. Absolutely. We have been contributing to open source projects for quite a many years now. We have been obviously using a lot of open source and bringing the changes we see necessary to those projects in the enterprise setting back to the community. Uh, recently we have launched uh, projects like Apache Olingo, a top level project at Apache, and other projects like OpenUI 5 and Build. So SAP, pretty strong reputation in the enterprise. So what benefits do you guys see by adopting and using open source? That's a great question. So openness is a key pillar of SAP's technology and product strategy. So at SAP, our single directive, our operational principle is run simple. And as you may know, um, there are out there so many SAP systems, 74% actually, 74% of world's transaction revenue touches some SAP system here or there. So what that means is to make lives of people and their jobs simpler, there may be a plethora of applications built on top of SAP data and functionality. Openness is really critical there. And open source squarely fits in as a means to that end of attaining openness. So therefore we have these various different projects which would make consumption of SAP's data functionality much more easier. So if you have an open stack or part of the stack open, your ecosystem expands and you're able to service your enterprise customers much more fully? Is absolutely, that absolutely. The more developers out there become familiar with SAP's technology through our adoption of open source and through our co-innovation with them, we are kind of helping our customers and partners to acquire the development skills needed much more easier and build their innovat innovative solutions much more faster. So it's a win-win situation. Excellent, so what are you seeing as the, the biggest challenge that most enterprises are having when they think about using open source? What, what, what does SAP see when you go in with one of your partners and you've got an open piece of stack? Do they adopt it easily? Is it a challenge for them or? Well, so there is a lot of activity in the open source space currently, right? You see lots of acronyms and new projects mushrooming every single day. So from an end user's customer's perspective, to get an understanding of how all these pieces fit together and to get an end-to-end -end value out of these different innovative technologies, that is a challenge. And by SAP working with the open source community and delivering the value in in a in an end-to-end -end scenario, that I think is is how we are working with the community and customers. So, if you, you guys obviously have an open source strategy, can you give us kind of a, a high-level view of what that strategy is and what it's going to be evolving down the road? Absolutely. So, we are a firm believer in. Uh, co-innovation with the community. So there are very clear management approved policies within SAP that if there are open source projects in certain technology areas that we are interested in, then instead of we building it on our own and inventing there, we would work with the community to evolve it and use it within SAP, that's number one. Secondly, when we make any changes based on our enterprise requirements, we contribute them back to the community. We don't intend to maintain internal forks, but work with the community to evolve the code base. And where there are clear interests between SAP and community in a certain technology, we would want to contribute and lead those projects as well to make them successful. So some of the projects such as Cloud Foundry is, is where SAP is a platinum foundational member and we are building Cloud Foundry in some of our core offerings and solutions like SAP HANA Cloud Platform uh, and our applications like Hybris On Demand. So does the use of open source at SAP, you know, your own company consuming and using open source, does that change the way you guys do business? It changes few things within the company as well. Like for example, the development culture itself, they start getting a much more faster, quicker feedback on the technologies they build. Instead of waiting until a product is released out of the door, customer tries it and then finds something to be reported back to the community and developers. Here with open source, working directly and closely with the open source community, you get a very quick feedback 
and also a richer feedback because there are a diverse set of uh, open source community members simultaneously using that code base. So it brings in a lot of uh, co-innovation culture with the, with the speed of the feedback cycle. Uh, that also means that culturally we have to, uh, culturally our engineers then learn to co-innovate with other companies. We also optimize our development infrastructure so that we don't need to maintain different code lines, one for internal usage, one for co-innovation with the open source projects. So those are some really positive uh, changes in the company, I would say. Excellent, so Sanjay, if you were to fast forward 12 months and we have this discussion in Austin, Texas next year, where would you like to see SAP go in that 12 month journey with open source? Yeah, I would like to see uh, SAP, some of these projects uh, much more successful with a lot more community adoption and we are working towards that. Um, so that's definitely something I would like to see. And also in general, uh, we are having uh, several open source initiatives in the industry. I think there is harmonization happening at different levels and SAP is driving uh, certain harmonization. But I think in the next one year, if we get much more clarity, we as a community, uh, that would help customers and partners and the industry in general. That would be a positive thing to see as well. Excellent, well we look forward to being with you along that journey. All right, thanks Thank a you, lot, Sanjay. thanks for having us. Thank me.